Hi, I'm Sonny, and I'm here to talk a little bit about piano yoga today. And uh, it's a uh, style of playing or a, a way of playing that uh, is a little different than your usual approach. It's kind of seeing the piano, you know, as everyone sees it, which is, you know, the notes and scales and things like that, but to take it a little further, as uh, other people have also in the, in the history of the piano. But uh, piano yoga, let me give you a couple of quick piano yoga things that you could do. Play the black notes. Hold the right pedal down. No music necessary. Just let your hands flow as if you were going out for a walk in the woods. This is actually called the black note flow lesson that I have on my DVD and is actually on the website in several places that you can try out for free. So this would be one thing I would call piano yoga. Another thing is to breathe deeply, relax, breathe into the plane, take three deep breaths before you start to play, and breathe diaphragmatically. That's another aspect of what I call piano yoga. And all this is uh, on my uh, DVD called Sonny's Piano Yoga for playing piano instantly for health and well-being. And uh, so breathe. And even while you're playing, uh, even if you're playing something, you know, let's say a serious classical piece or, or anything, if you breathe steady and diaphragmatically and in a relaxed way, you'll find that you get more into the flow. So let's just say I'm playing, um, you know, just any. Make you're breathing. Because you see people play and they get very tense and very serious and, you know, <clears throat> steadily. And when you breathe, you oxygenate. When you oxygenate, you put oxygen into your cells and your tissue and you relax your body, relax your mind, you help release dopamine and beta endorphins in the brain, which give you a sense of well-being. This is all part of what I call piano yoga. This kind of thinking and this kind of approach to the piano. So you can just play the black notes or you can just play the white notes. This is kind of like, a, like I said, a different approach. You know, Just sit down, open your hands wide, use three fingers on each hand and just hit anywhere. Move up the keyboard. Move down the keyboard. And keep the fingers out. Stretch out as far as you can. And when you do the breathing and you just relax, you can't connect with what I refer to as the musician within, which we all have. We have this stream of music going on inside of us all the time that you can access through breathing and relaxing and just relaxing and concentrating and getting into the flow. And that comes out from your unconscious through your hands. And when, when you don't try to do something, in other words, instead of trying to play perfectly or trying to play jazz or trying to play rock or trying to play pop, try to play classical. You just play and not think about anything. A lot of times original composition will come out of your original music, that original music that you have from inside of yourself that we all have, which I call the musician within. Just don't think. Music comes out. And um, some traditional teachers have uh, commented on this approach, and they're, they're saying that, you know, unless you have an intellectual, mathematical, con conceptual framework to work from, you can't do this. I, I, I don't understand what that means, because you could just open your hands, and you could just drop them, and you just start making music. Many famous uh, musicians. Never, never, never took lessons. Le legend has it that great jazz pianist Errol Garner didn't really study the piano. In the traditional way. So 
you, you could just sit down and noodle around and figure a lot of this out, or you could just learn some basics from a teacher or, uh, again, from the DVD kit or a lot of the free lessons or well, free TV shows on this website. And that uh, where I'm giving tips and other teachers are giving tips about just sitting down and making it happen, letting it happen, not making it happen. Oh. So, again, here's another thing you do. You just close your eyes and just really breathe and listen to the music. It's almost like meditation. You just empty your head. Let the music fill your mind. And that's the other thing, of course, when I say yoga, I'm not referring to obviously doing shoulder stands or headstands on the piano, or um, or uh, you know chanting or any kind of um, religious overtones. It's just a way of relaxing. Yoga principles. There's another thing you do. You play black notes, white notes. You play black and white notes. Kind of called atonal. It's kind of the scale of no scale. A lot of the classical musicians of the turn of the century, like Scriabin, were inventing their own atonal scales. Instead of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, they make up scales like. Make a piano scale. Stravinsky, too. And a lot of the bebop uh, jazz musicians Charlie Parker, Lenny Tristano, currently Connie Crothers, Luz Garel, or Kazray Jackson, doing a lot of this kind of thing, too, right now. And then you have everyone saying, well, that's not music, this is music, no, this is music, no, this is good, no, that's this, that. I don't know, who's judging? The whole thing is that when you sit down at a piano, it makes you feel good. Who's to judge? And with that, I uh, thought I'd like to tell a quick story about John Cage. John Cage was a very avant-garde um, uh, musician, but made a lot of different types of things with the piano. He was known to detune the piano as legend has it. In other words, he'd come out on stage, Carnegie Hall, and you get a the hammer, this piano would be detuned, take a tuning hammer, just un detune it, just randomly, you know, do things and sit down and start making music. You know, again, who's to say it should be tuned exactly this way? And um, other things John used to do, but the one famous story that still remains that uh, is told about John Cage is making statements about what is music, what isn't music, is the concert, famous concert, I believe at Carnegie Hall, where he comes out on stage and uh, with a stopwatch, the concert was an hour, starts it, sits down, and uh, just sits there for an hour without playing a note. People in the audience were like, just, what's he doing? And hour was up, didn't play a note, got up, walked off the stage. It's just mind boggling. Everybody was, what's he saying? Is he saying that music is also the, the, the silence between the notes? Or what is he saying? And uh, so it's a piano. I'm sure it's certainly within the confines of classical music, you have you know, different styles and different types and different levels of experience and, and perfection, or even within jazz or, or rock or anything. There's, within that, you know, there's, you know you can, they can measure it if you choose to. But everyone can play the piano, and you don't have to. And perhaps the less you measure yourself against uh, someone else, or some, you get that out of your mind, the more the music can just come streaming out of you. yoga talk for you today. Thanks for watching. Everyone can play the piano. It's healing. It's therapeutic. It's soothing. Relaxing. It's fun.
Thanks for watching.